Hello, Amy Jane Smith here from Connect Health Fitness and Wellness. Today I want to show you a wonderful little self-massage technique that can help reduce rib flare. So rib flare is what happens during pregnancy. Our ribs expand and kind of go up to accommodate growing baby. And it can take a little bit of help to get back down to optimal. I won't say normal, but we need optimal function so the ribs can move so we can breathe better. Now this technique is called rib raking. So all you need are your fingers. So I will get set up on the floor and I will meet you there. Okay, so get yourself in a comfortable position. Um, you can lie on the bed, I'm lying on the floor. I'm just get a couple of pillows just to raise your head up to keep your neck in line so you're nice and comfy when you are doing this. Now, with rib breaking or intercostal massage, what the aim is, is to just get in to between the ribs to massage out any areas that might feel a bit stuck, which might be helping the ribs to stay in that flared position. So this is a gentle massage, nothing should ever feel too painful. I mean with massage you will get a little bit of ouch, ouchiness, for want of a better word. Um, but you don't want to get into that fight or flight mode. So keep breathing in and out through the nose if you can manage it and try and stay as relaxed as possible. So when the goal, what we want to achieve, is to help release the ribs down here so that we can breathe more optimally. So if you look through having flared ribs, we might not be able to get a big breath because our diaphragm is kind of stuck open a little bit. <clears throat> so by releasing here, we should be able to get a big breath that goes down like this. Expanding through the tummy and down. So that's that's what we want to achieve, but it is a process, nothing's gonna happen overnight. So find your ribs, and what you're gonna do is, if you can feel and palpate along you've got the, the rib itself, and then in between is getting into your intercostal muscles there, just in between the ribs. And what I want you to do, I'll go down here, you can just rub your finger up and down. It pays to have some friction, so don't oil up your hands too much if you want to use massage oils or balms. But you're gonna kind of rub up and down between the ribs. You can go up as far as you wish. And you're going to see if there's any point that makes you go, ooh, any tender points. So there's, there's one for me. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna press into it again not too hard and as you breathe see if you can send the breath when you breath breathe in to where your hand is so feel that part expanding and soften and just drag your finger down a little bit more as you breathe out And the idea is that we'll just loosen any trigger points, any stuck points, trap, possibly trap the blood flow briefly. And then by taking those big deep breaths as we move our hands, the newly oxygen rich blood will rush to that area, flood it with oxygen and all the healing nutrients from your food and it will help to heal those stuff points and release them a little bit. So once that's feeling better, you kind of go back and forth a couple of times just to check, and then you can move on to the next rib. So go at your own pace, check all around as far as you can reach, and then you can do the same on the other side. If you would like, you can go underneath, and you can also check out my other video I'll place a link to it up here somewhere or here and we'll just um, give you another kind of 
massage scrubbing technique that you can use with a ball. If you like this video, please hit like and please subscribe to my channel so that you can get notified when I do more videos like this. And as always, comment below, let me know what you would like to see. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.